By the time we get to chapter 14, 60% of all people have died. If you read chapter 6 and you read chapter 8 and add them together, 25 and 33 is 58. 58% of all humans have died. And what does Jesus do? He's already deployed the 144,000. He's already deployed chapter 11, the two witnesses. What does he deploy now? Look at chapter 14. Ah, It's one of my favorite sections. I saw another angel flying in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach. God sends an angel. An angel that is so powerful and so awesome to see, and most of them glow, and this angel flies low over the earth so people can hear him. It's kind of like a drone. And this angel, in every language, I told you angels know every language, notice what it says. Having the everlasting gospel to preach, that's the word keruso, to declare the good news to those who dwell on the earth, to every nation, to every tribe, in every tongue, and to every people. Wow. Remember I told you more people get saved in the tribulation than any other time? God is a savior. God wants people to be saved. God is not willing that any should perish. He's looking for us to share the gospel. He sends 144. He sends the two witnesses. And when they haven't adequately done it, he just sends an angel. And just flies everywhere. And there's no, it's kind of like crop dusting. This angel covers the world. And by the way, what's the gospel? Look at verse 7. Saying with a loud voice. Now, have you ever shared the gospel this way? Is this, I mean, if someone asks you how to be saved, would you say verse 7? Remember, I told you, every time I read the Bible, I look for one thing. One time, I look for every gospel presentation in the Bible. I got here, and I was amazed. Fear God and keep his commandments. I mean, that is, wow. Fear God and give glory to him, for the hour of judgment has come. So fearing God and glorifying him, two elements, and worship him, who? Look at the creationism. Did you know creationism matters? When God gets to preach the gospel through an angel, notice what he says. Worship the creator, him, who made heaven, it didn't evolve, who made earth, it didn't evolve, who made the sea, it didn't evolve, and look at this, made the springs of water. Did you know the hydrological cycle of the earth is an intricate thing, the book of Job talks about it, it's unbelievable how God, you know, makes the water come down, collect, evaporate, go up, go in the clouds like that current hurricane did, you know, drop trillions of tons of water, the water soaks in the ground, and then it gets down there and there are artesian wells, there are springs, there are rivers, there are waterfalls. God designed the earth right down to the hydrological cycle. He is a creator. And if you will acknowledge, remember worship is the submission of all we are, if you will submit to that creator, if you will worship, glorify, fear him, he will save you. Interesting interesting when God preaches the gospel.